Hello and welcome to your Employee Benefit Enrollment Meeting for the 2022 plan year. I'm a representative for Morton & Company, which is the broker for your Employee Benefits Package that we will be reviewing today. In this video, we're going to be talking about all the different benefits that Logan City School District is offering their full-time employees. If you want to follow along, you can refer to your Employee Benefits Guide that has summaries of all the plans that are available to you. Alright, so inside this guide, and on the screen here, we've listed all of your carrier's information, including the lines of coverage they offer, their customer service phone numbers, and their web addresses. The best way to get the most out of these benefits is going to be by using services from a participating provider. If you need to figure out who a participating provider is, you can do so by going online, calling customer service, or even contacting that provider's office directly. If you do end up calling their office, make sure you ask if they're a contracted provider with your specific carrier's network in order to avoid any balance billing. This means that if the provider or that facility are contracted to participate within that network, they won't be able to charge you for the difference between the billed and allowed amounts. The contact information you're going to need to get a hold of your account manager, Stacy Rindlesbaker, is listed under Morton & Company in that gray box there at the top of the first page in your guide. If you have a claims issue, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are your advocate here, and we will be the liaison between you and your carriers. You are considered eligible for the benefits we're talking about today if you're a full-time employee, you're working at least 30 hours per week, and you've met your waiting period. Coverage is extended to your legal spouse and your dependent children, and that coverage for your children is only offered through the end of the month of their 26th birthday. Your benefits actually start on the first of the month after your full-time date of hire. So for example, if you were hired as a full-time employee on November 1st, your benefits wouldn't start until December 1st. And the same would be true if you were hired on November 30th. Also, keep in mind that Logan City School District's eligibility policy states if the employer of a covered spouse creates a policy to exclude primary coverage from a benefited Logan City School District employee, then the Logan City School District enacts the same policy for that covered spouse. Once you make your elections for this upcoming year, you're going to get locked into those decisions until the next open enrollment period begins. The only way you can make a change to your plan at any other point throughout the year would be if you have what's called a qualifying life event or a change in family status. Some of the most common qualifying events that you might experience could include marriage, divorce, having a baby, adopting a child, or if your spouse gains or loses employment that affects your coverage. There's a detailed list about these events included in the right-hand column of page two of your guide. Now, should you have a qualifying change in family status, you have 30 days from that event's date where you have to notify HR and then report that same change in your online benefit system, Infinity HR. There are instructions on how to do all of that on the very last page of your guide. Keep in mind that if that window closes and you haven't made any changes, you're going to continue to be locked into those existing decisions until the next open enrollment period begins. So just make sure you keep an eye on all of those deadlines. Logan City School District is offering you a medical plan through Motive Health. Now, there are two plans offered, both of which are high deductible health plans. This means that you're going to need to satisfy the applicable deductible before the plan will pay out any benefits. However, you'll also have the opportunity to contribute some pre-tax dollars into your own personal health savings account in order to help yourself cover some or maybe even all of those pre-deductible costs which I'll walk you through a little bit later. These plans have both in and out of network coverage. However, I highly recommend that you try to get services through an in-network provider whenever you can. You're going to find that doing this will save both you and the plan money. The district is actually providing that second plan listed here, the HSA 4000, for you and your family at no cost to you. It features a $4,000 individual deductible and an $8,000 family deductible. 
After you've met that deductible, the plan would pay 80% of covered expenses, up to the out-of-pocket maximum of $6,000 if you're enrolled as an employee only, or a maximum of $12,000 if you're enrolled with dependents. You have the option to buy up to the HSA 2000 plan, listed in those first couple of columns there, which would mean that you would pay a portion of the premium in exchange for that lower deductible. Those premium amounts are listed at the bottom of the table on page 3. The HSA 2000 option features a $2,000 individual deductible and a $4,000 family deductible. This plan also includes an embedded deductible. So, if there are two or more of you enrolled, one individual only has to meet $2,800 of the $4,000 family deductible. This plan will also pay 80% of covered expenses up to that individual employee out-of-pocket maximum of $6,000. However, that maximum for you and your dependents together is lessened to $6,850 rather than the $12,000 limit on that base plan. And just as a quick reminder, all of those amounts we just reviewed are only applicable to the care that you receive from an in-network provider. If you choose to see an out-of-network provider, your deductibles, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket maximums will all increase significantly. So just remember, in-network is your best option. With either of these plans, preventive services such as annual exams, mammograms, well-child checkups, immunizations, and even colonoscopy screenings are all covered at 100%, as long as that primary code billed is a preventive code. If you're experiencing any symptoms when you go in, that code will change to a diagnostic code, and then your deductible, out-of-pocket maximum, and coinsurance amounts are all going to come into play. Anything outside of preventive care, like office visits, x-rays, labs, hospital services, emergency care, and mental health services, are all subject to your plan's deductible amount. After you've fulfilled that deductible, your coinsurance kicks in, which means you'll still be responsible for paying 20% of the cost of those covered services until you reach your out-of-pocket maximum. And then, once you've hit that limit, most claims will be covered 100%. If you'd like more details on the specific limitations of what's not covered, you can find that information in your carrier's material. The same process applies to your out-of-network coverage, but as you can see, your deductible and out-of-pocket maximums are doubled, and your coinsurance increases so that you are responsible for paying 40% of your covered services. So again, it's definitely in your best interest, and obviously less expensive, to stay in-network. Your plan also covers prescription drugs, both through local pharmacies and through mail order. All of these prescriptions are subject to your deductible, coinsurance, and out-of-pocket maximum, just like all of your non-preventive services. I'd also like to recommend that you try to use a generic prescription drug if it's available in order to help keep your out-of-pocket costs down. Your medical carrier, Mode of Health, also offers several health plan services to their members. You can find the details of how to take advantage of these programs explained on page 4 of your guide. The Smart Pay program is designed to reward members when they elect to have certain planned medical procedures or high-cost diagnostic studies performed by a high-value provider and work with Mode of Health to pay in advance. Smart Pay incentives vary between $100 and $5,000, so be sure to check in with the Mode of Health team to see if you qualify prior to having your planned procedure. Mode of Health also offers a STEPS incentive program, where you and your covered spouse can earn a dollar a day for each day you walk 8,000 steps or more, up to 20 days a month. The funds you earn are deposited directly into your personal health savings account. Your telehealth services are provided by Healthiest You. Now, this isn't meant to replace your primary care physician at all. It's just a faster and more affordable way to receive care for easily diagnosed problems or common conditions. The best part about this plan is that it won't cost you anything to call in, and there's no limits to how many calls you can make or when you can make one, because they're available 24-7 via phone, video, and email. Here's a quick clip provided by Healthiest You. Life is always on the go. 
we believe your health care should be too. You don't have time to wait at the doctor's office. Find a pharmacy nearby. Wait for a prescription. With Healthiest You, you get your time back. From our app, you can talk to a doctor 24-7 by phone or video and pick up the lowest cost prescription at a pharmacy near you. Finally, you have control of your health so you can get back to what you were doing. For healthcare on the go, we're your go-to. Healthiest U also has a really convenient mobile app available for both iOS and Android devices so that you can have easy access to their services and their frequently asked questions section if you need a quick answer to a common question. Any additional information you might need about this great telehealth benefit is included on page 5 of your guide. Since you're being offered a qualified high deductible health plan, you may qualify to make contributions into your own health savings account, which is also known as an HSA. The HSA is an awesome way to save tax-free dollars for eligible medical expenses that aren't already covered by your plan, like your deductibles and coinsurance. The maximum annual amount you can contribute for 2022 is $3,650 if you're getting individual coverage, or $7,300 if you've included anyone else on your plan with you. For 2023, those amounts increase to $3,850 for single coverage and $7,750 for two-party or family coverage. If you're 55 or older, you're also eligible to make what's called a catch-up contribution, which allows you to add an additional $1,000 to those limits. Logan School District also has several options available to you for reimbursement accounts. For those of you that have chosen not to enroll in the district's medical plan and that aren't otherwise enrolled in any other qualifying high deductible health plan, you may want to consider participating in a flexible spending account or FSA. This account is similar to an HSA in the sense that it'll allow you to contribute pre-tax dollars for eligible medical expenses, just with some different limitations and rules. Your annual contribution limit for an FSA is $2,850, but unlike an HSA, you don't withdraw these funds directly to pay your claim. Instead, when you have a qualifying expense, you'll actually pay the bill first, then submit a claim, after which you'll be reimbursed by the funds you've accumulated in your Flex account. There's also the option to use a limited purpose FSA. It allows those that are enrolled in one of the district's HSA plans to also set aside that $2,850 per year, but only to cover certain dental and vision expenses that aren't already covered by the plan. You can also use it for out-of-pocket medical expenses after you've reached your deductible. And the last of these options is what's called a Dependent Care Assistance Plan, or DCAP. This account allows you to contribute up to $5,000 pre-tax dollars to pay for eligible dependent care expenses, like daycare, so that you can work. You can find additional details on these reimbursement account benefits on page 8 of the guide. Logan School District is also offering you a dental plan through Town & Country, administered by Samara Health. As you can see on page 9 of your guide, this plan has both in and out of network benefits, but again, if you want to get the best benefit possible here, you're going to want to try to use an in-network participating dentist. You can look up a list of dentists that participate with this plan online at www.samarahealth.com. Your preventive and diagnostic benefits like exams, cleanings, fluoride for children, and x-rays are all covered at 100% in-network. If you choose to get these services out of network, they'll only be covered at 70% of the network fee schedule. Your basic benefits like fillings, root canals, extractions, and periodontics are covered at 80% in network after you've reached a deductible of $75 per person or $225 per family. Out of network, these services are only covered at 70% of the network fee schedule after you've met that same deductible. You only need to satisfy that deductible one time in a plan year, and then your coinsurance percentages kick in and you get to split the cost of those contracted services with town and country.
Major services like crowns, bridges, and oral surgery are all covered at 50% in network after you've satisfied that same deductible. For these same services out of network, you only be receiving 40% coverage out of the network fee schedule. In or out of network, the most this plan will pay out per plan year is $1,000. Your dental plan does not provide orthodontic benefits. However, there are some providers that have agreed to a lower negotiated rate for all district employees. To find out which providers have made this arrangement with the district, you can call Samara Health, whose contact information is on the first page of your guide. The vision plans you're being offered are also through town and country, administered by Samara Health. There are two different plans to choose from both of which are considered reimbursement plans, which means that you'll pay for your services up front and then submit a claim to your carrier for reimbursement. The good news with these plans is that there's no provider network, so you can see any optometrist or ophthalmologist that you choose. The main difference between these two plans is that the Silver Vision E150 will reimburse you for an eye exam, whereas the Silver Vision 150 won't. On that E-150 plan, you're entitled to one eye exam per plan year, after which you'll be reimbursed for up to $50 per person that's enrolled under this benefit. Aside from eye exam coverage, these plans are basically identical. They allow you to purchase either glasses or contacts once per plan year, with your lens benefit only being available once a year also. If you choose to purchase glasses, you can be reimbursed for up to $150 of the retail price. Anything above that amount would be your responsibility to pay for entirely. Your single, bifocal, and trifocal lenses can be reimbursed for up to $75 for the lens itself, plus another $100 for any lens option add-ons, like tinting, UV coating, standard scratch resistance, anti-reflective, and polycarbonate additions. If you'd rather buy contacts, you can do so instead of glasses for a reimbursement of up to $150. Keep in mind with contact purchases that you can only submit one reimbursement per plan year. So if you cannot purchase enough contacts at one time to meet the $150 allowance, save your receipts until they at least total the maximum benefit and then submit for the reimbursement. Neither of these plans offer any benefits for LASIK or PRK surgery. However, there are some providers that are willing to offer a discount on these procedures. Keep in mind that your HSA or FSA dollars can be used towards paying for these procedures also, so you do have some options to explore if this is something that you or your family are in need of. These basic life and AD&D benefits offered through New York Life are employer paid benefits which means that you don't pay any premium. It covers you for $50,000 for life, and then another $50,000 for AD&D, which stands for Accidental Death and Dismemberment. It'll also cover your spouse and any children under the age of 26 for $5,000 for life and an additional $5,000 for AD&D. You're going to want to make sure that you have enrolled any eligible dependents in your online benefit system so that they're listed for coverage. All of these details are outlined on page 11 of your guide in that table at the top of the page. Your voluntary life benefits are listed on page 11 as well, just below that basic life and AD&D section. These benefits are available for you, your spouse, and your dependent children. It's a benefit that's voluntary, which means that if you want to enroll in it, you're going to pay the entire premium. You can elect coverage for yourself in $10,000 increments up to a maximum of $500,000. For your spouse, you can elect coverage in increments of $5,000 up to a maximum of either 50% of the employee benefit limit or $200,000, whichever of those is less. Coverage for your dependents varies based on their age. Your newborn babies from birth to 14 days can be covered up to $500. Babies that are 15 days old, up to six months, can double that coverage to $1,000. And then children between the ages of six months and 26 years old are eligible for any amount of coverage between $2,500 and $10,000.
If you're considered a new hire, you have a guaranteed issue amount of $250,000 for you, $50,000 for your spouse, and $10,000 for any dependent children. For this renewal, New York Life has offered a one-time true open enrollment. What this means is that any employee and their dependents can enroll if previously waived or increase your life insurance amounts up to the guaranteed issue without answering any medical questions. You heard right, no evidence of insurability for limits up to the guaranteed issue amounts listed on page 11 of your guide. Keep in mind, any requests for coverage outside of this one-time true open enrollment, your new hire enrollment window, or requesting limits above those guaranteed issue amounts will require you to submit evidence of insurability to New York Life in order to get approved for coverage. Your long-term disability coverage details are shown on page 12 of your guide. This is the insurance that replaces a percentage of your income on a monthly basis in the very unfortunate event that you are unable to work due to some kind of accident or illness. This benefit is actually 100% employer paid, which means that the school district is paying for this coverage for you to protect you and your income if you get really sick or become disabled. Full-time employees can receive 60% of their monthly salary up to a maximum of $10,000 per month under these conditions. You'd have to be disabled for 120 consecutive days for this benefit to take effect. And then there's also a three month waiting period to cover any pre-existing conditions you might have before you enter the plan. However, that pre-existing condition limitation will no longer be applicable after you've been enrolled in this benefit for at least 12 months. And last, but definitely not least, are your LAP offerings through New York Life Group Benefit Solutions. LAP stands for Life Assistance Program, which is a great confidential short-term counseling resource that's available to all Logan City School District employees and anyone in their household. These services are completely covered by your employer, but don't worry. Your personal information is never going to be shared with anyone without your direct knowledge and approval. Some topics they are able and ready to discuss are listed in that blue sidebar on the right side of page 13, along with their phone number, which can be used 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. You're entitled to three face-to-face -face visits and unlimited phone calls, all at no cost to you. So be sure to take advantage of this great benefit if you need it. All right, so we've covered all the different benefits you can choose from, but how do you get enrolled in them? Through your online enrollment system, Infinity HR. This program is provided by the district to help you make your benefit elections every year during open enrollment and throughout the year to report qualifying life events. If you already have an account, You'll use your same username and password to log in, review your elections, and make any of the changes you'd like. By the way, if you've forgotten your logon credentials, there's both forgot your username and forgot your password links in the lower right-hand part of the screen. If you're a new employee or enrolling for the first time, you'll get two emails, one to provide you with your username and instructions on how to set your password, and the second to outline all of your enrollment window dates with a link to your enrollment site. These steps are shown on page 14 of your guide, and if you have any trouble, you can always call the Payroll and Benefits Department at the Logan City School District Office for assistance. If you have any questions or need any more clarification about your benefits, please make sure to reach out and talk to your amazing Morton & Company Account Manager, Stacy Rindlesbaker. She is a great and knowledgeable resource and is more than happy to help with any of your benefit questions. Her information is shown here and is also listed along with your other carrier contacts for you on the first page of your guide. Thank you for taking the time to join me in learning about all these awesome benefits that Logan City School District is offering. I hope you'll have an incredible rest of your day. Happy enrolling!